Hey, well, welcome to day 16. We're going to talk about how do you curate your own infographics for Pinterest. And you know, a lot of people think they can't do their own infographics. You know, they don't think they can create them because they think it's, you know, cost them a lot of money. But in actuality, I have six free resource, resources for you um, that's not going to charge you anything. You'll be able to build your own infographics, and that way it'll be tailored and customized to your brand for your company or branding yourself. Okay, so the first one is Infogram. And the website is www.infogr.am. I know that's a really weird web address, but yes, that is the correct address. And they have different templates that you choose, and then you're able to fill in the information, and then you're able to pin it or even save as a JPEG. So when you create your own infographic, you know, just make sure that you include the web, your website on it to be able to gain maximum exposure so when it gets repinned. So this is one of the ones that I had. It's the top 20 power words that sell. All of this was customized, and I was able to upload my logo and my website. Let's go ahead and take a look at Infogram. And what I'm going to do is build a uh, infographic quickly to be able to show you. So once you go into Infogram, let's see if I can get on the front page, you're going to uh, create a login, and this is going to be the main menu. Now, uh, the library here is going to hold any of the infographics that you've created, okay? Um, the home button takes you back to the beginning. Uh, new chart right here, these are just different charts um, that you can create. You've got different types of bar graphs. There's a pie chart. There's different types of line and um, scatter or bubble charts. There's a pictorial with people, a hierarchy. You can do a, a table. You can show a gauge progress. You can do a word cloud, a tree map, um, or something financial. And all of these um, you can edit and add numbers, which is going to change your graph, OK? Now, new infographic is what you're going to click to get started. And they have these different templates. As you click on them, the templates, you'll be able to click and use it. Um, so they have all different ones. I've used this one before. Um, so there's only about six of them. And just to, we're going to go ahead and use this one, I guess, since I just clicked on it. So I'm going to create one for Eden Veggie Farms. And all you have to do is you can use the exact layout or you can change it by deleting something. Like I'm not going to use this graph, so I'm going to delete the graph. And all of these buttons on the right hand side, you can add things. So you can add a chart. Again, it's the thing that we just went through. You can add a map, which is going to show literally the world, um, not just the US. Um, there's adding text. In, there's different types that you can add. You can add a picture and also you can add video and if you click on video you'll have to enter um, the exact address um, from Minio or YouTube. So let's go ahead and edit. It says double click to add title. I mean this thing is so easy to use. It's supposed to be. Come on. Let's try this again. All right, I'm going to log in. And maybe that will be able to fix the problem. Go. OK, I'm going to click on New Graphic. I'm going to use the second one that we started with. I'm going to delete this graph because I'm not going to use it. Now I'm going to double click. So I'm going to Eden Veggies Farm. Then I'm going to do a quote. And I actually, for the sake of time, I already grabbed a quote. So all I have to do is enter it. OK, now the author was, what was his name, Lewis Grizzard. 
Now it won't let me center or anything. I mean, it is what it is. Um, the other thing, let's see, let's add a picture. So anytime you add something on, it's going to go directly underneath. So this picture should show up directly underneath the quote. There it is. Okay, now things are starting to pop up. Although it didn't for some reason accept that one. Let's enter that again. All right, I'm also going to add more text. I'm going to do a body text so you can see what that is. And let's see, I'm going to put our motto, grown and raised in Broken Arrow, Oklahoma. That's kind of our tagline that we use. Now you can also drag and drop. So if I drag and drop, it's going to end up appearing above this photo, but I want this directly below the name. All righty. So now I'm going to add another picture and it's going to be the location on a map to kind of show where we are. Ta-da! There's our map. I want to add a headline. So now it's just the same size as the front top one that we use. I'm going to enter our website address. I also for sure want our logo because actually our logo is getting very well known around the Tulsa area so I want to make sure that I include that. Stationary logos. Let me see which one I want. Let's do this one. to take. There it is. Okay. But I want the logo above the website, so I'm just going to move that there. Then anytime you want to look at it, you want to click preview. And it's going to show you exactly what it looks like. I could add more things, um, but just for the sake of the video, I'm not going to. And so what I will show you, though, is one of the charts. So let's click on the tree map. Add the chart. Now, um, there's different versions you can choose here. If I click on, I'm going to double click to edit the chart. And what's going to happen is something that looks like an Excel spreadsheet. So really all you do is you change names in here. You just double click. Um, let's see, tomatoes. I'm not going to use this. So I'm just going to show you how to use it. 1.0. Um, let's see, cucumbers, let's do 0.56. So what you do is you change this and then when you do done, it's going to actually adjust and change it. So there's my tomatoes, there's my cucumbers. So based on the percentage that you sent in, it's going to depend on where it ends up based on the location. And so I have used this, I did this with like I think the top 20 selling words. So you can use this for just about anything. And then all you do is click Publish. And then what you're going to do is OK Publish. And then you can publish to either Twitter, Facebook, or Pinterest. Infographic number two is PictoChart. And there is the website right there. Again, it's free templates. Um, all you do is you select a free template, and then you fill in the content. OK, so let's go to PictoChart. And get this set up. I already moved in there. So, all right. So, when you first um, come to it, you'll have to log in or create an account, which I've already done. They do have a paid area, which you can view pricing, um, and it's obviously going to give you a lot more customization. But you can start with one of the free themes below. So, this blue one here is just um, a generic. Uh, web theme, this one and the second one. This one over here on the far right, Jagged, um, it's a theme to describe product and services or a feature or a new launch. Then they've got a darker theme and then an e-cool um, theme uh, that you can check out. So you can explore more by being able to upgrade if you want to pay 
uh, to be able to do this, but you know, if you're just getting started, there's nothing wrong with why don't you use something for free. So let's take a look at this theme to describe a product or service and let's do load theme. It's really easy to customize. I'm not going to build one like I did on the other one, but I'm at least going to walk you through some of the areas. So what it's going to do is load up the template and then you're going to be able to change it. So this thing right here, um, I can move around. Um, you can edit the text. You can um, move things around just like we did with the other one. I mean, it's super, super easy. They have different tools over here where you can upload your own image, create a batch of images. That's the pro version. You have to pay for that create a chart then you can add different types of shapes so this one's really fun it's got a lot more um, customization than the other one we just saw you can add some graphics that they already have and here you've got a lot of social network um, graphics you can add text and then there's theme graphics just a couple there as well now there's a section up here where you can change the size of the canvas, you can make it larger, you can uh, check and look at the background, you can do different layering, uh, you can change the text and the size, and so you can just actually customize a lot more things in this one and they've got, um, you know, six different, I think it was six different templates for you to use. So this one looks really fun um, and actually it's going to be a lot more professional looking than the other one. So this could be a really good option for you. Infographic number three is Visually, which is visual.ly. Um, and so here's the website. And again, these have templates that you're able to fill out. Let's go to Visually and check this one out. Okay, so it walks you through, sorry, step by step. So here's how it works. You select a story and then you just browse the gallery and choose an infographic that you want to be able to customize and then you're able to connect it by logging into Twitter or Facebook um, and be able to customize it. So I actually did one of these at one point. Let's see what they have here. And so what you'll have to do is come up with your storyline first and then you'll have to come in and look at the templates and see what's going to be the easiest layout for me to get it done as quickly as possible. So let's see your complex Facebook tale. I think I did this one at one point. We'll log in with Facebook. And then create. So what it ends up doing is pulling some of your top things from Facebook. Um, you can't get rid of the Amstel Light. This template's not customizable. It really just pulled in events that I had. So the top status update I ever had was uh, right here with my story, the text that went with it, uh, my complex interests, events that I've rocked and been a part of, um, about my friends, uh, female 59%, male 41%. Um, it gives single relation, it gives relationship status, and so really this is just something that you would pin. So it just pulled in my Facebook information. Infographic number four is Intel About You. It's your personal social media graphic and I know it's a really weird URL but if you click it you'll be able to go into it but it's going to automatically spit out your social media news into one infographic which is all about you. So infographic number five is um, called Wordle which is basically a word cloud. So let's go ahead and take a look at how you build one of these. Let's look at Wordle, uh, which is free. And basically, you know, obviously these are just word clouds. And what you do is you click over here into create. And you can just type in a bunch of, uh, bunch of text.
So it's going to take a little while to generate. All right, and so now it's generated. So what happens here is you can change the color. So I don't like those colors. I can change to do whatever I want. I can change the layout. I can do any which way. I can do mostly horizontal. Now when you do those spaces, the problem is it's going to split it up. So you've noticed I typed in 30 day challenge. It's going to split those up. So and like network marketing got split up. So you have to be able to put those together for it to be able to work. You can change the font. Half and half. So you just kind of play around till you get the look that you want and change the colors. Um, I've gone in a couple times and changed uh, the words that I had. So and you can even change um, languages. So it's really easy. And um, all you have to do is uh, you can print it to uh, a PDF. Um, you can actually save it to the public library. Um, I usually, typically what I do is I'll just take a screenshot with Jing, J-I-N-G dot com. It's a free download and I just do a Jing shot and I just save it that way. It's a lot faster and a lot easier. So that's how you do Wordle. Infographic number six, which is PowerPoint, HubSpot, um, there is the website right, or website right there that you would click on and then I'm going to, let's take you in and show you how to be able to download this PowerPoint um, in a second. But what's going to happen is you'll be able to, they have templates on their slides that I'll show you. And so what I did is on each slide I just used their template and I just put in my own information and then what you do is each slide you, you turn those into a JPEG individually and then you're able to put it all together for one big infographic. So let's go take a look at that. HubSpot PowerPoint template. What you'll end up doing is going into HubSpot and if you don't use HubSpot it's a great resource for online marketing or social media marketing. You have to come in and fill in um, all of your information. No one will call you. Um, I haven't received a phone call. I've downloaded a lot of support from them. And what they're going to do is they're going to send you a PowerPoint presentation. And the PowerPoint, I have it in here somewhere. Here it is. So it literally walks you through step by step of how to do it. it has a table of contents, talks about the templates, and gives you really quick tips. So I showed you the picture of the Facebook one that we used. This is the template that I used. And basically all you're doing is you're saving. It gives you the step-by-step -step process. You're actually saving each slide as a JPEG and you're combining them together. So you can copy and paste. You can insert a new slide and um, or even duplicate a slide and change it around, add more steps. But they have three different templates. And so really it makes it nice and easy and even shows you um, at the end how to be able to bring them all together to make your infographic. So it's a really great resource if you have PowerPoint. Well, I hope these free uh, templates really help you to be able to get creative, be able to create your own infographics to support your brand and be able to gain a lot of attention on Pinterest. Have a really good day and have fun creating those infographics.